Got on my back. Kia ora, kia ora.
Uh, kia ora koutou mā. Tangi kōpū, Roy Mata, Murray. Oh look, there's me saying kia ora. Hapu. Hapu whānau toa. A vet. Yo! Kia ora, kia ora. Nā mai hara mai i tēnei wāhana o te marama. I'm doing working on new works today. Oh, that's why you can't hear me. Because my, my microphone's muted. Kia ora, everyone. How is it? <laughs> don't mute yourself, my bro. Yeah, no, it's just like, man, no one is listening to me. I, I think that's the cope up of, of the day by the look of Dad's work. Do not mute yourself. <laughs> Wait, is that a new piece? <laughs> yeah, it is. Jesus, it's massive. Yeah, it's big. Yeah, I've been here since six o'clock this morning. Good thinking. Just move your arm there, Dad. Oh no, the other way. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing a work under this. It's a good bit of art on this. It's called Annual Planning. My interpretation of what annual planning is about. Actually, really nice artwork. I quite really like it. This is a two-way uh, our, uh, our propaganda. I'll see what it come out. I'm not too sure how it works. What's going to end up to? You know, have the debates. <laughs> Misinformation. Misinformation. Sounds like you're getting ready to rumble there, Brank. No, ah, no, no, no. Because this, we, we're here, will last longer than this. Yeah. <laughs> well, people will be talking about that. It's the same thing. This one called Manawa, Manawa Motuhake. Manawa, Manawa Motuhake. Manawa Motuhake. That's the one. Uh, kia ora, kia ora everybody. Hey, kia ora, twitching mess. Yes. Yeah, we're, we're looking forward to seeing Buru next year too. The, um, the, the photo you put up, Dad, earlier this, uh, last, well, earlier this week on, um, on Instagram, your Muru photo of you and Manu. Oh, yes. And everything that, that, that popped off. And oh, Cliff, yeah. and Cliff, and the crew. Everyone's, yeah. ex everyone's excited. Yeah, I've been talking on radio in the last couple of days. Well, you know, um, Watea. Oh, good old radio Watea. Watea. There used to be my party song there, one in the seventies. Yeah, I remember when they did this cover of the song, old um, Barnaby Weir and them. Oh, this is um, Twin Set. Yeah. Oh, with, yeah, that's with, right. With it's Barnaby singing it, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that was a party song. There's a not how much of a party song. Oh, by the original. Who was it? Who was the singer there? Louis, um, what's his name? Sammy Davis Jr. Was he singing it? Yeah, or? something like that. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. No. no, no, I don't know if it was it. Oh, I can't remember. Yeah. We have the power. Was it Bill Withers or something? I love you, Ray. Yeah, well, while we are at it, actually, just shout out to Loop as we do every uh, every week. Um, just for letting us use their um, their catalog of tunes, oh, we yeah. can, um, without getting pinged with the DMCA uh, on Facebook and on um, oh yeah Twitch. And actually, we are actually of trying it today. Uh, I've actually broadcasting out to YouTube today onto our YouTube channel. Oh, YouTube! Um, are we really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. I, I, I'm just uh, testing it out. There hasn't been a huge amount of stuff on there, but. You know, just kind of keeping it, uh, just seeing what's up over there. So, uh, 
Bobby Hib. Bobby Hib. Maybe that was this one song, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, Black Seeds, Jamie, yeah. Uh, twitching mess, no, we didn't get a roll. You were in, in Muru, were you? I was, I was doing the vegan catering. Well, I wasn't, my mate was, I was helping her out. No, no, I, no nothing nothing on screen, yeah. The, a little bit of, uh, you know, helping with scheduling dad, but that was about it, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I want to be in a movie. <laughs> it's all good. Oh, kia ora hira. Pe hea. Roa tua. Hira. Hira Denton. Uh, now, have you got some... Um, is that screen up and running for Dad? Oh, yeah, let me fix that up. Ish. Yeah. yeah. Here it comes. Gahara. Karatiwa. Oh yeah, there you go, Dad. Um, there's your your chat feed on the screen there for you. Oh uh, yep. Twitch. Jamie. Wow. Na tamatoa. Glennis. Kia Yeah. So I'm just giving my annual plan. Actually, my annual plan. It's about manawa mutuhake, about aroha, mate mate ao. Uh, what's your annual planning for uh, 2021? And what does it look like? Yeah, it's a real um, planning. I was actually going to say that uh, if anybody, if any of the whanau, anyone wants to have a call to door about, I mean, I know we're in here doing art and stuff, but if anyone wants to talk about local government, <laughs> talking about annual planning, hey, way to bring the mood down, Toy. Bring um, that mood down. Yeah, well, <laughs> Coming to you live from Tamita. Which... Regional government. <laughs> annual plans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look, we just lost maybe. 40 viewers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, we've got some, um, we got some spammers over on Twitch. Want to become famous? Buy yeah, followers, primes, and viewers on bigfollows.com. I don't know how to get rid of those. Go to Aroha. Aroha Pepe, Mahuri Hude. What's that twitchy miss? Reckons on the densification announcement? Densification announcement. Oh, is that, is that to do with the housing densification? I think that's what they're talking about. What's going on with your camera there, bro? Whose camera? My camera? Yours. Uh, you're a bit kind of cropped out there, bro. Don't crop me, bro. Yeah, yeah, the the uh, bipartisan one, eh? The... I mean, it's a tough one. Housing is tough. Get 
getting quality housing for people. Um, I'm going to turn this down a bit. Just one tick, my bro. Can we just yeah. put that down a tiny touch? Yep. Um, I actually haven't read... I, I didn't have a, a really good read on the densification on what they were planning to do. I should be kind of across that. Housing is a huge tucky for local government. Um, I'm in the regional council, not on the, the district council. So it's generally the district council that... Well, it is the district council that... Uh, manages the the consenting process for houses will consent the you know earthworks perhaps on developments and so forth um, so that's where we come into it our land use if you're changing those sorts of things um, there's some really good papakainga initiatives going on around the country which are fantastic just some people really getting really? together um, I'm not sure how they're going to fix that one. What are they going to do? Regional politics. Let's look at their annual plan. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and so your annual plan, what your annual plan is supposed to do is... Uh, Tell your community, your stakeholders, your constituency, what it is, of course, to pla what you're planning to do for the year. But it's where you actually commit your budgets. So it sets your work plan for your your workforce, for the operation. So you go, oh, yeah. And generally, in uh, local government anyway, you put that out to consultation so that your community gets to give you feedback. Um... That's in a local government sense. I don't know. Do you think they were doing that in a two-hoy sense, Dad? I'm not sure. I'm yeah, not sure yeah, about yeah. That one. I, I, I that. And your planning is just... I mean, we all have eyes and ears. What do we see? You know, we, I mean, we can get on all the, all the other nuts and bolts. I mean, we, there need to be a shift from what happened 50 years ago, 100 years ago. Here we are, 2021. And uh, so we need to, to look at uh, our own thinking. I think it's really important just to have this conversation. And, and, and uh, so we don't go into those, uh, you know, all of those uh, bureaucracy, uh, they, they, all of those languages. Let's bring the language down a bit and look at our, our own real world. If you're talking about housing, what is a house? It's got a roof, it's got a wall, it's got windows, you know, it's got a door you can go in. In some place, some houses, so, well, you know, where do you put the door? Do you have two doors, three doors? You know, all of those are concept ideas. Because all it requires is to protect yourself from the sun, from the wind, from the rain, and from the dogs, from the fleas, the rats, all of those things. So you put all that in the, in the picture because there's a whole lot of other things around you. So if a house is there to protect you from all of those elements, what does it look like? You know, so we don't fall into all the scam that are going around and much. So I think it's ridiculous that the way we, the way the planning, we got some people, we got all the politicians, we got everybody else. But there, there need to be a conversation between that the regional council, the politician, and you at home. Uh, the Kaipupuri, the Mogi, or the Finua, you know? All of that. Or, or else we get seduced into all of this other propaganda going, going around. So I think it's really important that from the grassroots level that we, we need to have this sort of type of conversation recorded or start painting picture. Just, you know, really, I'm, that's what I'm trying to do, paint a picture. I'm doing an annual planning, or annual planning, not necessarily what this about, well, you know. You know, so we, we need to start doing our own planning. Or if you have all the bureaucrats, you got the bureaucrats, the office in town there to, well, you know, you, you don't need those ones. Well, that's just my point of view. <laughs> this, 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 
Okay, there's a lot, <laughs> lot to unpack here. See if I can bring it, see if I can bring it around, eh? So, bring it home, bro. Bring it home. Okay, okay. So I think what you're saying, Dad, is that um, we have been relying on colonialized and traditional paradigms like an annual plan and uh, and some of these things have been that have been around um, yeah. and that uh, and that these models don't necessarily apply or uh, uh, really nice work really. but but you know or aren't and so my question actually based on sort of what you're saying I kind of get the the parts of um, you know the way you kind of express the the idea of, of what is a, what is a home what is a house what is it, what is its purpose yeah. um, do you think that there is room to innovate from within because that feels like that's what we're kind of talking about is that yeah, yeah, yeah. new ways of thinking innovating in these spaces of course, of course. um so he, here's a question for you do you think it's possible for um um i'm just going to say to hoy and th because it's a local thing we yeah, yeah. you're talking about it you know to be able to innovate in these spaces of local governments can, can, can uh, i jump in? I'll, I'll jump in eh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think so. I, I think there, there, there need to be a relationship. <laughs> what the, what is that? How do we build a relationship between Tanata Whenua and regional council and district council? You know, so, they, you know, so my, my concern really is so you get that dictatorship. Not, the, the problem is not the regional council, in my view, but with ourselves, that the way we uh, kind of conduct ourselves. So you, right. think, you, know, you, have, you just have a handful of people speaking on your behalf i don't like okay that. okay i i, I think we're, we're possibly talking across a couple of subjects then um these things get very complex very quickly uh you know when you're talking about bureaucracy you know and they always get a bad rap and i understand why bureaucrats and their policies and their regulations and blah, 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 blah. go to anywhere where there is no local government yeah and look at the chaos. Look at the pollution. Look at the um, yep. industries running amok in the environment. Um, policy and regulations are there to try to help us not kill each other the majority of the time. Um, so we don't end up in, in, in big physical fights with your neighbors or, you know, that other person down the road that puts in a housing development or... So it's a set of rules, I guess you could say. So that, in, in its basic form, um, that's what it is. Uh, but, like what Whitey was saying, is there room for innovation that iwi, Māori, tangata whenua can bring to the local government space? And the answer is yes. Yes. Um, and I'll wait for Whitey to get back because he was asking the question. Are you, are you there? Are you available now, bro? <laughs> sorry, sorry. That's your nephew <laughs> hassling me about uh, the, his package. Um, oh. Yes. Yep, yep. No, no, I'm, I, I got you, though. I'm with you. Oh, yep. Um, so there is innovation that Māori can bring to the space, and it's actually happening right now. Yeah. Um, and I've got old uh, Micah right there. Kia ora, Micah. She, she's, yeah, thank you. She says I'm doing a great job in local government. Um, Micah is in the space of um, iwi bureaucracy, you could say. So you've got your post-settlement entities and how they try to bring the voice of their members into the space of local government. So um, I'll try and use an example of, well, she brings it up there around te mana o te wai. So... Yeah. The mana o te wai is a concept that is a uniquely Māori concept. It is still being defined because only mana whenua can define it. But mana o te wai for Tuhoi will be different to mana o te wai for Ngāti Awa. Even within, say, Tuhoi, the mana o te wai will be different for uh, those who, who reside along the river or Hinematoro, as opposed to those who uh, reside up at Waikaremoana. Right. They're geographically specific. Yeah. 
uh, uh, Ma Tauranga Māori. So local government is trying to, because they haven't ever in the past, and government, central government too, I won't get towards ownership of the water, that's a whole other can of worms. But there are certain pieces of legislation that guide how local government works. So local government is, all, all we do really is we go, okay, this is the law, where's my hand, there. This is the, this is the legislation, this is the Resource Management Act here, which says, mm. uh, gives a whole lot of direction on how we have to make up the rules regionally. Uh, so somebody wants to put in a dairy factory, somebody wants to, a farmer wants to take from the aquifer, somebody wants to discharge into the water, discharge into the air from their activities, you know, somebody starting a business, might be a Māori business, might be a Pākehā business. Um, we have to figure out how to go through the consenting process so that people can get a consent and that the rules are fairly fair across everyone. Um, of course, as happened with Creswell, for example, uh, which is the water bottling plant, when we applied the legislation, uh, I'm very careful here, get myself into trouble. This is my opinion. <laughs> let, me, let me give that disclaimer. This is my opinion. This is not the regional council Covering position. Covering his ass. <laughs> that's, that's, that's why it's really important to have your mana mutu hafta, see? Yeah. Get on, Regan. Um, Creswell, our, our cons we actually handed that off. We said, look, this is a bit of a hot one. We're going to get an independent um, panel who are going to look at all of the uh, the parties. We're going to look at the, the law that's currently there, which, in my opinion, is a little bit underdeveloped when it comes to water bottling. There are arguments put forward, fascinating arguments, actually. And it actually ended up being a domestic issue. So we put that panel forward, or it came together. Um, Ngāti Awa the Runanga, it was a discussion about the Modi of the Wai. Was the Modi of the Wai, which needs to be given if consideration, I don't think it had to be given effect as a consideration, um, was it affected by water bottling? Ngāti Awa said, yes it is, of course it is. The Hapu, who were closer to where the water was being bottled, still Ngāti Awa, a komatua came forward and said, well, no, the Modi isn't affected. The Modi travels with the water to wherever it goes. Yeah. The panel made the decision to give weight, I guess, to that to that komatua's court at all. That, which is debatable. It's still in court. Yeah. It went off to the Environment Court, it's gone off to the High Court, I think it's now going to the Court of Appeal over um, uh, points of law. Um, so it hasn't, it's still it's still in the courts. Um, you, you, your mate Brihi, Rihi Virko dad. Yeah. She's yeah. all for it. Yeah. Yeah. And so, and so, we're, so, so you're saying that the, 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 the in terms of the innovation, um, in, in the context oh, yeah. of this, which was around the is the acknowledgement of um, it's, it's Maori principles and Maori whakaro and Maori concepts being put into policy and regulation. Okay, and so that innovation then is is it the is it the I, I guess on top of or inside that um, that construct that bureaucratical construct of regional council in this exact in this particular case. Yeah. 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 And, and we and I think we're seeing that across you know across multiple sectors you know not just regional council but also within um, like for example similar things are happening inside the music industry um, there is um, in in various aspects of the arts um, I don't know to what extent if at all through you know sort of the corporate um, sector but um, is there do you think Dad is more a question for you? Yeah. That there is 
you know, so for example, everyone kind of says, you know, when they see your moko, they go, oh yeah, did you get it done with the chisels? You know, is it, yeah, or did you do it old school, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then you've got the practitioners that have that, that are working today. They're like, you know, this is how, what's to say that Māori wouldn't have innovated in a way that actually, where they, they mechanize it in that it becomes that the needles, why does it have to be about that? Yeah. You know, and so that's that discussion about innovating yeah. Um, okay. In in a in a sense, it's innovation, or it's it's introduced um, through uh, through colonization or whatever. Yeah, it's coming yeah. through a Western construct. But do you think that innovation can be developed internally? Yep. Within totally. the culture. Yeah. No. Totally. I mean, uh, our people in the audio use a new technology, doing dharma. They 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 discover the the steel. Um, and then they, they, they shifted quite, quite dramatically in particularly of the new tools that they implement. Mm. So it, it doesn't really mean that you go down doing the uhi to do that. So I'm sure if the chief winner had all the new technology and all the machine we have today, like today, if they had it a hundred years ago, of course yeah. they will use it. You know, of totally. They, yeah, of course that they were, you know, they were introduced that. And they claim it, and they I mean, people stupidly always say to me, oh, did you do it the old way? You know, you know, they, they <laughs> The traditional way, the real way? Yeah, 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 they do it the old way. Yeah, well, you <laughs> know, when, when Tommy Poata came through to the Mahudu, they found way right back just in, during the sixth, during the First World War. Yeah. You know, he, he would be whole, he didn't use the like, uh, but he did use the needles. It was, it was uh, steel, and they used it by hand. Indeed. Have I not given you my call to do on this, my bro? Oh, you might have. On um, evolution versus... Uh, <laughs> I forget the word now. <laughs> <laughs> I've said it so many times. Dilution. No, 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 no. Dilution. Evolution versus dilution. So okay. it's, it's my theory that uh, because of colonization, we've gotten very scared to dilute our culture anymore because of forced uh, assimilation and attempted uh, homogenization no. of our culture. That, that we've, we've gotten, we, we have nearly to, we've tr yeah. tried very yeah. hard not to, um, we've yeah. tried very hard to differentiate ourselves from the Pakia. So we kept right. ourselves, yeah. you know, and so because we went through colonization and that forced assimilation, we uh, we have uh, had to, we've nearly gotten scared to evolve ourselves because yeah. it's like if we dev evolve ourselves, are we diluting ourselves? Well, not really. I, I, think, I, I think that we, I mean, um, you know, there are different, it doesn't mean to say you're, you become less a two-way because you do different things. I think that we can use different technology and ideas to uh, elevate and take up to another level together. Yeah, you know. So you know yeah. we've been doing that for a hundred, for nearly two hundred years. I mean, we got a, we 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 implemented a lot of the stuff we have on the Amarai. It's not totally ours. So we you know like the chairman, the secretary, trustees, all of that. That they are all part and parcel of, uh, of our colonial. Because this is going on in our hapu at the moment. They're trying to get rid of trustees and they're saying it's ball head, it's parkia, and hey, I get it. And they're trying yeah. to bring it out from I, underneath I, I, I the. Understand. And they're trying to bring it out from underneath the, uh, the, the, the land, Māori land court. But mm. they've still got a chair, they've still got a secretary, yeah, they still yeah. have a bank account, they're still keeping minutes. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Minutes. All of that. Um, and I'm going, isn't that just more of the same? Yeah. A and we, you know, who, whoever aspired at a marae to become a chair, to become a secretary or the treasurer, but those seem to be the kind of, you know, other than the pai, you've got the pai tapu, yeah. and um, you you have the kaikaranga, you have komatua and kuia, and, you know, they're certainly the leadership at the marae level, but then other than that, you've got the, the chair, and the yeah. secretary mm. and the treasurer. Um, you know, I always thought that's why we, our people really are attracted to gangs and to um, even church, say, 
because there's a structure there and you know you want to be the prez or the sergeant of arms or you know they're, they're a lot more kind of um i guess attractive you know i'd rather be the sergeant of arms than the final secretary <laughs> or the chair be the prez yeah, sure. i mean i, I was thinking because i was kind of it was interesting I, I it was a bit of a messy stream last stream where we kind of you know we were plagued with technical difficulties and you know but we started heading into the ai and kind of that's talking about those um you know how that kind of starts to uh, be constructed and and i guess the views of a dystopian versus the which of my mine is a little bit more optimistic and but i you know as i mentioned in that conversation which was talking to marty um in the ai space and, and who are who are innovating in technology mm. and yeah. bringing um matauranga maori to that and um and where you know i, I kind of you know it's like it's like uh, wakanda right black panther and, and the idea that there isn't uh that this this technology or these these um innovations are, are born um through their own development and um what that might look like i mean that's kind of exciting to me to the idea that um but you know the reality is we do live in a, a colonized society that is, that now has to start to figure out how to work together and, and merge these things together um dilution or evolution yeah if, so, if, if we if we innovate are we evolving our culture or are we diluting our culture and i right. think we've always been so scared of diluting our culture that in many ways it has it has um hamstrung or, or or stopped us from evolving our culture because when i look at our tupuna we were like we we adapted we evolved yeah no we do we're yeah. real I mean, just, innovative just and, like us you know people always ask me are you a maori artist you know and they say no i'm not a maori artist i am an artist you know yeah. always say well, if they, do you go and ask a parker are you a parker artist do you go and talk to an english are you an english artist you are an artist you know so they expect you to come up with these kuru and kuru whai whai patterns you know and uh See, they actually had that in the in the annual plan. I don't know if I can. Is that there? You probably can't see it. It's oh, too hey, small. Oh, hang on a second. I'll, I'll, let me make it bigger for you. One sec. Boom. Yeah, the whānau out there, you know. We're, so uh, just. It says the marae. We're, we're, we're having this conversation around here. And so uh, just wait it in toy. Well, it's a whānau conversation. And for us too. It says the. We really, the, we really get, get into it. The, the marae is real. Facebook is not, and and I get what they're saying, but um, Facebook is real. Oh no, totally. Are you real right now, my bro? Are you having this conversation? All of the people, all the people listening and commenting on Twitch and on 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 Facebook. This is you know, a, a new forum. This is a new way to to yeah, well, talk. It's, it's, it's a the so the marae out there, you don't have to go to the marae across the road to be on your marae. We are on the marae. We need the marae out there, and that's what we're doing right at this very moment. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, I think, I mean, I, I think also, that. I think that it's, it's, you know, you've got a, a propensity towards the disruption, you know, where, where it's disrupting those normal ways of thinking, not normal, but, you know, traditional yeah. ways of thinking about things. So that's that kind of that can be taken multiple ways and people either um agree with it or they don't and yeah, so yeah. um yeah well no, our people at the Purewa didn't go around and and uh, get a mandate from from the from the Ibi to do what he had to do he, he made yeah. that decision himself i mean it, it does seem a bit um uh it's not so it does seem it does seem a bit old hat to or not old hat but yeah just like stuck to be able to to, to say that um facebook isn't real and that um um but yeah it, but it does it does lend itself to that argument of it's, it's got a different yeah but it's got a different dynamic i mean we all know about the keyboard warriors 
you know and people kind of put forward a certain persona i think this is different when we're in this forum because you know i think it's a bit different we all put on a persona when we're in, at the marae you know doing the fight court or people are in a performative space yeah. it's very performative people there's a particular a particular dynamic um you are challenged on the spot and there can be to yeah, tohe. I love it. Uh, same same on Facebook. People, I think, get you know emboldened by the anonymity behind their keyboards. This is a little bit different. Um, you know, hey, the comment section while we're talking here is on fire. People got a lot, a lot to say. Is, you know, is this on Twitch, my bro? Axio yeah, Ultra Axiom, Mega. That's, that's, yeah, that's your mate. Axiom Ultra Mega. Oh, um, Axiom. <laughs> <laughs> Kia ora, bro. Kia ora, Axiom. Kia ora, Axiom. Um, yeah, he's saying this is just like the the new marae, the digital marae, but um, yeah, it is, it is. This is the marae after. Just no, no kai afterwards. Oh yeah, I, I mean I, the, the other the other um yeah, and that's right. I mean the, the, he's talking about Discord. You know, I'm I'm, you know, Maori are out there fucking just carving it up in all of these. You know, on social media on. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, when I, I think about the quarter boys and, you know, growing up and the kind of, um, you know, bringing that, um, that talent and, and a lot of Māori who just, who bring a lot of talent towards an electric guitar, you yeah. know, or, uh, you know, um, producing music in all these yes. kind of places. And it's like, um, yeah, man, it's like, it, it's, it's happy. It, it was like, oh, you know, it's not, it's not, um, it's not our way to be doing it in heavy metal or you know it just seems a bit um actually yeah. axioms you're dead right too bro he goes also the what is real argument is another whole for Karo because that's very true they're saying the marae is real facebook is not what the what the fuck is real these days no. on a quantum level are you trying to say what the hell is real <laughs> yeah i mean really what is real consciousness you know matter the whole way that this whole you know come on now trying to trying to dictate to people and and that's ultimately i think what's happening the issue why we're probably having a bit of conflict with the current leadership of our post settlement entity is because we talk like this we go um that's a bit simple a bit simplified i know they're trying to get a kotahitanga and, and drive people towards this tuho utopia or something and take us back to where we were with nature and i was having this conversation before because you know we're having some other conflict at the hapu level and stuff and this whole quarter or about we must look to nature we must look to nature that nature gives us the uh the, the the guide and i understand the romanticism of that but nature is brutal if you if you look at the pp for and the pp for oro kotamai the pp for oro around this time of year it's a bird the shining cuckoo that comes down from the solomon islands and follows the winds the warm winds that come down and when you hear katangi te pipi whaurua you know that actually it's it's a good time to plant so that is one of our observations of nature but that bird's a that bird comes in douches all of the eggs and all of the native birds uh, uh nests puts its own eggs there and makes the native birds the local birds raise their young and it's a parasitic adaptation <laughs> that nature and it's been going on for who knows like how long that they they're kind of like the mafia of birds because if if those birds don't if the local birds don't um look after the young the pp faroro will come back and they will smash the whole place up so the, the native birds have figured out, well, we better raise these fellas young to the detriment of our own young. And that's how nature works. Yeah. So what lesson do we take from that? Uh, you're cracking me up today, bro. You're <laughs> like, like, dilution or evolution? <laughs> what is real? You know, it's like, these are big ones. These and new plans. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just had a text from somebody who's watching online. Oh, Kimmy. Kimmy Tomlin, she's out there. She's watching. Oh, looking. kia ora Kim. Kia ora Kim. She's just like, she's, she's cracking up. She's going, oh, your brother. What's going on? 
No, 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 I, no I'm with you, mate. It's, you're right. It's, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's actually why I like local government. Uh, I've learnt a, 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 a more of a respect for it. Because the truth is, at the moment, if the Pākehā were not here and we were utilising our own tikanga to manage our way through the current situation within Tūhoi, blood would be running down the river. There would have been war. There is no doubt that it would have, it would have turned to blows. Yeah, but it is only the law of the Pākehā that stops us from doing that. Well, the Pākehā are very good at that too. Oh, they are? They're cool. They're cool. More people. They're still doing it. They did it in Afghanistan. They do it in the Middle East. They're still doing it. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I mean, the, 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 I mean they're yep, still yep. doing it. I mean, they just got booted out of, just a month ago out of Afghanistan <sighs> because they created something we yep. shouldn't be there in the first place. Yeah. You know? They should not have been there. Um, to, but uh, that's another quarter. Bossy. I'm not sure if that's Bossy and to um, Maze. Um, Rika? Rika? Oh, kia ora, kia ora. I, th I think people are having their own conversations on there. <laughs> that's good. Hey, yeah, no, bring it on, everyone. Just, uh, you know, this is just us sitting here having a bit of a chat. What day is it? Wednesday afternoon uh, yeah. catch up and a rant. And um, sometimes we can. Uh, Get caught in the, yeah. caught in the groove of it. So yeah, it's good. Good to hear what everyone else is, all good. is out there. So it's amazing what can come out of a uh, simple discussion around an annual plan. So um, yeah, the yeah, part that's the annual plan. All yeah. Good. Of course, this particular annual plan also has a. Um, your your father and and your brother here, my bro, are um. Can you bring up the uh? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing again. I can't see myself up there, mate. Oh yeah, I'll fix that. Hang up. Um, we we are mentioned in the uh, Ruatuki tribal response oh. to the the misinformation. That's the whole back end, the whole appendices. There's about there's actually more in that section than in their annual plan section. And it lists out a very, in my opinion, uh, <laughs> one-sided, biased uh, recount, account of uh, the PGF funding, of a whole lot of things. And I go, and I think, well, you know, usually when you're assessing information and the, the credibility of that information, uh, you go, is there a um, a purpose as to why they're laying it out in that certain way? And there is. It's because of the protests. Um, they were very upset with the protests that Dad was a part of. Um, Where was that protest? Uh, at the Uru Taumatua. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, but, but in, we, we in did some... advertise. It wasn't a protest. It was a performing arts. I mean, I advertised <laughs> it. I, I, you know, we put it out there. The cheer. Yeah, I, I don't think they quite um, understood. They didn't get the nuance. They yeah. didn't quite yeah. get the Dumbass. nuance. Right. <laughs> that dad was going Dumbass. to. When you go on at a pohiri, you go and you fight quarter and you come on. You you well, dad does when he comes on. He'll talk to the fuddy yeah. and court it all to the fuddy. So he went to go and court it all to uh, what Tamati terms the 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 office of the iwi. But it's the biggest goddamn office in the land, you know, it's huge. It's um so he went to go and talk to this office that has, you know, a Just lot like of we talk to our chief in the That only could have been done the how to deal. So that's what dad was doing. Of course there were other people there that had made up uh signs that you know I, 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 I wouldn't have done that. The signs were a little bit personal, in my opinion. They were quite... Um, in my opinion. In my opinion, they were a bit derogatory towards certain people. Um, and because Dad was there at the same time, of course, you know, they feel like he was supporting that. Um, those were other people with their own placards. It's, if you go along to a protest and somebody's holding up a placard that, 
you know, you're just at the same protest. That's that's how it goes. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you know, they they clearly clearly have gotten quite upset at yeah, that yeah, yeah. and have decided to punch back. And they are basically the whole back end, that whole misinformation sort of this, which is a big part of this, is about discrediting. There was a lot of the sort of things we're saying. A lot about the stuff that you had done on Facebook, though, eh? Like, because it was. Was it, well, was it? Dad, Dad had been Dad had been doing his Facebook lives, and he'd been saying these things about what he thought. And I guess you know this is the problem. I guess why they're saying it's not real. Things can get interpreted yeah. in different ways. Right. You know, somebody says something, somebody types th- something, and and you know, in the process of the transmission of that message, things can get miscommunicated. And so they had a certain opinion of what he was saying, um, and this was their response. But yeah, it was yeah. very. I, I think the difference for me is. A person going onto their own personal Facebook page, yes, he is got a big following and so forth, um, but a person giving their opinion and putting that out there is a lot different to an organisation that is responsible for the settlement funds of an iwi and the utilisation of those funds and that organisation and the staff members and the operations to produce something that you know what i mean there's a big difference there's a big difference that's that's a huge difference between an organization publishing slanderous hearsay to somebody having their opinion online as an individual um and so that was what's quite surprising about the annual plan that they've put out is um it certainly indicates that they're willing to crush as much as they can any dissension <laughs> but hey they can do what they want Good you know right. yeah wait and toy what, what what do you think dad yeah yeah i mean i mean i don't care you know you, you, you there's no one way of doing things whether do you put a placards whether somebody you know, having a debate or putting somebody's name on it. It's all part, all part and parcel of that, you know, and uh, I, I mean, this whole thing, you know, many years ago, we had this debate about the jet boat going up the river. So we, we had a conversation, we had a debate. We had a big fight about it, and um, because some of the whanau were saying, oh, what's wrong with them coming to the river? It's all right. Well, you know, so we, that, that took us three years to get to the point. So we can all agree on one thing. So every, then all the hub we decided, it's a good thing, we'll call it or them. You know, so we, so we, you know, I think this debate we're having here, you know, they are, to me, they, they can be very personal, you know, the way they, they kind of pick in on me, but I don't, I don't mind. I mean, there's bigger people than them have to try to have a go at me. But I think that we, I think it's a dumb, I think the report is dumb, there, there, there need to be a place that we can really have a chat. I, I don't mind having, having a debate and a, an argument and have a, and a, point, a point of view with a tutamachi to anybody. Yeah, but I'm the, gonna play yeah, I think there's here. nothing, where, I think it's important that we have those conversations and not sort of right. say, well, we don't want to talk to you, you, you are probably not what they're putting out there. I think that's dumb. Yeah, but so I'm going to play devil's advocate that. So, um, what didn't wasn't things kind of pretty pointed in terms of Tamati and Kirsty and. Oh, that's what know, I was saying. That those I, the, the, those those signs, the placards, yeah. were yeah, yeah, yeah. very pointed and they were yeah. insulting, and I think they went too far myself, um, yeah. because really I think this is ultimately a very difficult complex conversation around yeah, yeah, sure. it's nearly a constitutional conversation my bro yeah. ultimately yeah. because yeah. you're looking at a post settlement an entity that is ultimately a crown construct it was iwi are forced to corporatize themselves in order to receive settlement money 
right. would, from an acknowledged wrong of loss of land and life and culture and oh we'll give you this money you know which is a one cent in the dollar goddamn deal but for you to do that you have to corporatize yourself mm. and so then you get this entity which you know they and there's been a lot of issues around what is the governance of that entity because our our, our whole leadership structure was also decimated yeah. right and, and then you're introducing this new entity that in order to manage it and govern it you have to what you were talking about before that basic parker infrastructure in order yep. to have a bank account to have trustees to be able to have accountability and blah da 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 yeah, yeah. and then now what's happening inside of the local government space there's a huge amount of reform elevating the position of iwi in terms right. of what is the money of the of the why you with this you know talk about transfer of functions from local government to iwi so there's this elevation but at the same time i tell you right now the democratic the democratic processes within iwi are, are terrible and they're, right. they're they're currently in court so we've got to ask ourselves actually as iwi maori today in 2021 are we do we consider ourselves advocates for democracy as we know it at the moment or do would we prefer a system more like china where you don't have votes per se but you've got another kind of a system um yeah. we haven't had that conversation so you're nearly operating two different well, governance systems within the one country and we actually yeah. haven't and so ultimately i think that's the conflict that's happening um you know, clearly Tamati and Kirsty have this vision that they want to see through. They've invested a lot in it. Um, and they're willing, because they think that they're right, and they're allowed to think that they're right, they're willing to push that through um, and test who can stop them yeah. under the laws because it becomes a constitutional question. Um you know, I, I see a whole lot of red flags. If anybody says that they can take you to a utopia and they've got all of the answers, I go, mm. I, 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 and dad also, as an anti-authoritarian, rebels against authority. And so that's why he went to the fuddy, because that fuddy is the basis of that authority. No matter what they're saying about what's happening out in, in you know, the hapu, other ones, and then it goes to the tribal and they're our bosses and we're... You know, come on. I'm like, be real. Be real. You have staff. This is my opinion again, Fano Ma, my my opinion. But you have you have staff going into Hapu with agendas from the post settlement entity to push it through. You have you you know they they're campaigning. And they've got the the weight of an organ of a funded organization behind them yeah. so it pushes it back the other way and i'm like i'm just i can't sit at a table at a local government space demanding transparency and 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 you know equity and a fair yeah. go and then go back home and and not get it, and not yeah. Get it. yeah like how does that work how does that work how does that work yeah it's in the annual plan. In the annual plan, <laughs> we should put yeah. out an annual plan. We should do. We should. We should author our own annual plan, which is, yep. What yeah. is real? Yeah, Dilution and evolution. <laughs> um, no, I mean, it's a, no, the Ficado is good, and people are resonating with that, bro. Out on the comments, kill to Aaron Kerr. Good to see you again, bro. Did you um, make a day two toy? Uh, Natalie. Natalie Harrison. Remember her? Oh, true. Yeah. True, Natalie. Natalie was my, my Juliet. Yeah. My actual oh, Juliet. Yeah. When I played Romeo uh, at Auckland Grammar. At Auckland yeah. Boys Grammar, and she was at Epsom Girls Grammar. You know, we actually ended up on the, uh, what was called, I think it was like a Nightline or something. It was like the 3 o'clock, uh, sorry, the channel, the, 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 the channel 3 late night news, because you had two Māori playing Romeo and Juliet at Auckland at Auckland Grammar and Epsom Girls Grammar, you know, which is traditionally right. like a very, you know. Um, yeah, I went to watch it. I was there. Yep. The show. Okay, yep, we all went. Yeah, you were there too. Like, oh, yeah, you came, eh, bro? Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, I flew up from Wellington. You flew up from Wellington, that's right, I remember. Yeah. 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 That was, um, we were all there. Hmm. I actually remember being very appreciative of that, that you flew up to come and so watch that my boat. Yeah, I do. I actually, I do remember that was one of the that was the one of the first times because I, I had moved away from home and, and uh, was living and working in Wellington, and I was like, oh, I'm going to go see my bro as uh, Romeo in the lead part of his school play. Yeah, like, yeah, that's good. Do that. Yeah, I remember that. That'd be nice. The um, I remember playing. Oh, what was the bro's name? What was your bro's name? Oh yeah, uh, one Nazi bro. Oh, Tero, Kupinga. Tero, Tero. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Mm. Yeah, while I was waiting for my return flight and I was at his mum's house, uh, at his place, and his, and his mum's playing... Um, oh, yes, Vapi. Auntie Vapi. Vapi, yeah, yeah. Vapi, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So, no, that's, that's all. Um, oh, well, kia ora to Natalie. Good to see you there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's just saying... What was, uh, she, what was she talking about? Much oh, she's just talking about um, uh, back in the Greyland years... Uh, and you sending video messages to your moko asking if you still do this. Oh, oh yes, those those moko are. Uh, oh. Ooh, time flies, Natalie. My my girl's about to turn eighteen. Yeah. Your girl's about to turn eighteen too, eh, bro? That's right. Yes. Mm. Yeah, she turns uh, eighteen next year. Yep. Yeah, so. Um, Going wow. to twenty-one. Holy. <laughs> Yeah, it won't be long. There you are. Annual planning. <laughs> yeah, old Tui yeah. started doing his campaign for, for next year. Oh, well, yes and no, you know. I mean, I guess so. I've got, yeah. I, I've got to go back out and seek, a, seek the social license to to represent, because that's what we are. We're, we're, we're representations of our constituency you realize that once you get in there you know people think that as a councillor you're the boss you are yeah, not yeah, yeah. you go in there and you've got a whole uh machine engine of staff who are guided by policy and all we can go in and to do is to go in and try to uh develop and evolve policy but it is incremental it is it's a very complex process and actually the difficulty, the thing I've been running through my head, because I think I've been doing a pretty good job. I, you know, in my opinion, in my opinion, I think I've been <laughs> doing a pretty good job. <laughs> um, but it's incredibly difficult to actually go out and communicate what are very complex issues to people who have other priorities. You know, they're just trying to deal with their own lives and, and it's like, hey, can I talk to you about Three Waters? Hey. Let's talk to you about uh, the new national policy on on um, fresh water. Let's talk about the Marine and Coastal Act. And um, oh no, that's why I brought it up tonight because I was like, oh maybe my, some people might want to ask questions on the yeah. on the chat, and I can um, you know hopefully answer some questions. Yeah, I mean that's, that's always been our, our conversation, our activism really just to talk about those policies and, and taking those conversations to the politicians, making sure that the language and uh, our voice will be heard and this is what it looked like from us, not for them telling us how to suck eggs, but really to give a point of view. But I think over the years that, we, um, that it has improved in the way that we uh, allowed ourselves to, to have a voice and, and so people were like, Creating those positions and um, and having people like Toy and many others right around the motu and having those uh, voices. Yeah, totally. I mean, I totally agree with it. And I think it's really important that we, we do focus around that, making sure the dotted lines, that the kupu fit into that. And I think that part, part of that, that the collaboration is a way that can make things work for us. I mean, the Pākehā kai kōnā, the Haina mana kai kōnā, Somalians over there, there's the Pacific people in there. So uh, how do we pull all of that together? So, so everybody, everybody will equally have a say and have a voice. Mm. You know, and um, yeah, 
Yeah, once upon a time, they didn't, we didn't have this. We didn't have no, 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 that's true. That. That's very true. You know, you look at the trajectory we, of, of local government. We didn't have it. It came from local militias. Yeah, yeah. And in this country, this, that's where it came from. Yeah, in this country, it was run by farmers. Yeah. You know, in, in, back in the days, I mean, back in my days, to be in the old black, you come from the farmers. Who Brian Lawawa, uh, you know, they follow from, uh, from Maniapoto down in Tequiti, they're all farmers. And, uh, but now, you know, the old blacks now, all kinds of people in the old blacks. They're not just farmers. So, uh, very much, very much of the everything politician, the National Party run by farmers. Because they have policies, they want to put in, they implement their policies, their facado, they support their industry. And that's how we're back in the day. So, so farming is no longer an industry. We change. We no longer eat a lot of butter. We know dairy products. I mean, that, that whole place is stuck anyway, in my that's just a point of view. But you just still need to have policy to be able to to stop all of those other the other the other shit that the farmers put in the ground. So we've come a long way where we are today. So we got a voice. I mean, you know, farmers get a. And, and I used to be one of them. They they, they, they get a lot of criticism, um, but the truth is, if you eat chocolate, if you have your coffee, if you know the, the, the ah, it, it gets it gets quite complex quite quite quickly. Um, there's a good question from from you, Aaron. Um, here, hard to forget or policy overstepping the tiriti. Well, and do I think that there is is a balance? It depends. Yeah. At the moment, Te Tiriti and the reforms that are getting put forward by the government, Te Tiriti is being elevated. There's no doubt about that. Um, but, you know, at our council table, we're having discussions. You know, there are certain members of my council who believe that there are two versions of the treaty. You know, and in certain ways there are. There's the, 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 the yeah. treaty. The Pakia version and there's the Tiriti, the real version, and there is inconsistencies which we know. But they are totally different. They are, but yeah. they are also one document to a great extent. Yeah, yeah. We treat them as one. Um, so that's one interesting conversation that we're having is really trying to educate fellow governors around what is the treaty because it is, you know, and that's interesting that this is the first time that they've really had to get their head around it. Yeah, yeah about what it is and there's a lot of case law that um so decisions made in the past which applies around applying the principles of the treaty or the principles of the treaty have come out of that um is the balance right i think it is certainly getting there aaron i think it hasn't in the past the treaty hasn't had the um the weighting that it should have but in in my view, I can see that the that it is being elevated in importance within the work we're doing in local government, definitely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, I mean, and we, similarly, we, we, like we, it's we, happening we, out there in other sectors as well. Oh, we across yeah, the board. Yeah, yeah. There there, there is a recognition of um, of that, and and I and I kind of yeah. you know. It's interesting to to talk about sort of the progression of this, and this kind of comes back to the, um, I guess the, the impetus behind some of the new projects that we've got coming through, particularly with the um, Te Whakatumatuma and the Hakari project, which is around that, you know, where these um, yeah. reforms and where these, uh, where this um, these evolutions and innovations are coming from or have yeah. come from. You know, and so the, that's the work of Natamatua. That's the work of, I know, yeah. a lot of people uh, in the past who have who have pushed to get to a place now where um, there is a, a much, much more fertile ground for that type of change. Yeah. yeah. What were you going to say, there, Dad? Um, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's building the mass. It's a mass movement, you know. So. I mean, well, one, one of the things that we've been working back in the 70s is working in collaboration with all different groups of people within the trade union movements, um, build, building new movements around that. To talk about exactly the same stuff we're talking about now, 
that this mm. kind of conversation, not just in regional council, nor no. just in um, uh, district council, nor with national party, but that these mm. are the discussions, the conversation we should have there on our kai table, you know, at our marae, you know, mm. at our hapu, yeah. at our whanau. We, we should have these sort of types of conversation. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and so 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 when we come to this uh, place of debate with with our regional council, so we have a clear picture in our own thoughts, so we can share some of those thoughts here. So uh, and, and, and I think it's it's a good practice. You say it's a practice of the use of the language, whether it's the te reo tuhoe, the mita or tuhoe or whatever. You know, and uh, I mean, I I still trying to get my head around it. You know, I know what I'm thinking, but I'm trying to get it out there. Well, it doesn't come out how I wanted it to come out. You know, sometimes that's why I do art. Art is a, is a good platform for me uh, that enable me to do the things. You know, without me really saying anything. You know, and, and, and part of this is the annual planning, 2021, 22. So rather than me, you know, I'm just trying to, to, to remove myself having a ding dong with my own, but using art as another, in another formula, mm -hmm. another platform, yeah. Yeah. that we can have these sort of types of conversation. You know, and uh, I, I think it's really important that we have these kind of types of forward and uh, even right at this very moment, so we've we got people out there, and we can see these forward Just a thought. Yeah, I, I think that we have done ourselves a disservice by not having a, uh, a a greater focus on civic education in our country. Yeah. People don't define that. Civic education yeah. about how things work. People don't yeah, know. Yeah. They they leave right. they leave school and they don't know what what uh, the district council does as opposed to the regional council as yeah. opposed to you know and. There's about to be a huge amount of reform in local government because because of what happened in Havelock North and all those people got uh, poisoned by the water. Um, they got yeah. sick. That um, the push for yeah, yeah. Uh, these new water authorities and, and and it's rolling ahead, even um, that. Uh, these water authorities, I think they're looking at about five or six of them up and down the country, take over the management. That's traditionally right. been the role of district councils. So if district councils aren't going to do that, then what are they going to do? But this is the other issue, is that district councils around the country have had politicians who have campaigned on keeping rates lower, and they have not invested the money in the infrastructure so they're sitting with basically water processing plants that for them to be compliant to the consents to make sure that the population is healthy when they deliver you know when you turn your tap on you want to drink water out of your out of your tap to have that to happen your facilities need to be of a certain standard the infrastructure so even the piping underneath the ground hasn't been maintained over years and years and years over decades by certain councils and so they now sit as a huge liability on their balance sheet so the government's come along and said hey we'll take that off your hands you won't have to worry about that so councils who haven't invested and they've, they know that this debt is looming are kind of like oh cool yes you take that whereas councils who have actually been um, prudent in investing and have, have spent their ratepayers' money on making sure that the infrastructure has been maintained over over decades, are kind of going, well, no, we've worked. they're nearly getting penalised by this reform. In the meantime, if you take water off councils, are they there to then run the libraries? Are you going to have a mayor of your library or of picking up your rubbish and that's all they're going to do? And so you've got these really small councils like we do have here in the Eastern Bay, who, if you take water off them, they nearly become unviable. So how are you going to evolve local government and local representation? Uh, 
you know and then there's also the fear that one step of when you start to when you move water and its delivery these services into a water authority more than likely they're going to be using private like contractors to and so are you to do the work and, and so is, is this is, were you because you were originally talking about civic education is this part of that is this what you're saying is the type of stuff that needs to be people don't know about this stuff so they just go keep my rates low oh, i pay too what? much rates but they don't actually understand the services that they get for those rates people just start to take it for granted i nearly go oh jesus like everyone's kind of you know you complain about your teenager bro because they don't understand actually all of the privileges that they have that come with it they take it for granted like i right. said go to any country where there isn't well-run functioning local government and see roads that are nearly undrivable and are dangerous see rubbish piling up everywhere see industry coming in taking advantage of the lack of regulation to be able to rape and pillage resources and leave environmental disasters like you, and so, yes yeah no no i, I feel you uh, and uh, the um so um and, you know and, and those the level of what those particular um local governments are operating at is you know depending on the resources that they have available to them whether that's through funding or through control um and um you know and there is um you know like any corporate structure that you're going to have ones that are managed well and yep. ones that aren't yeah um and then you know and so i guess i guess in some ways though because there is there is you know I, and i'm kind of just thinking about um tut and sort of i guess there is underlying it there is a there is a model that has been imposed in order to become a post settlement entity yeah. right in order for that to to exist they've kind of they've had to negotiate their way into a western yeah. construct um and um uh and so that's um i thought and this is what and i might be naive you know mm -hmm. and, but there is that it was about um mana motu haki in the, the around the around the way forward and that that was the work that i'm sorry let me just backtrack the work that i'm currently doing which is about questioning the way that uh non maori or uh, or a, a, a colonized industry in a way of in a, a, a sort of a, a a bias towards um these colonialized structures um don't work or you know aren't aren't servicing maori necessarily and mm -hmm. but we can't seem to find our way out of it yeah yeah and yeah, that we yeah, can't yeah. and that we can't really um uh and 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 we've been you know the culture was essentially amputated to some degree uh in uh in terms of being able to 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 develop our own systems of stuff mm. and that is kind of what i thought the whole angle of two and tut was was like yeah okay now nah, we can see that you've done this and I, and I and i appreciate what you're saying about about the um you know conforming anyway to a structure and then possibly even starting to replicate yeah yeah that model but um um is there a way for us to you know to develop it without that without that type of um restriction i mean i i, I think oh, yeah, the the the, the, the oh, you go dead yeah no no it can uh, i think it, it just um yeah yeah the problem we have now is, is, is too many blockage and then they, they, they prevent people having those sort of types of conversations that's that's the problem we have and becoming you know, but I, I think it's really important where's it's the just, blockage dead is the blockage internal Oh, yes, internal blockage. I mean, just look right. at the annual report is uh, a good example of that. Yeah. You know, and, um, uh, yeah. And, we, and, uh, and I know, being in the front line of it, and, uh, you know, there, there needs to be another way that we can... I mean, I, I, I really personally, I don't really want to spend our, our whole life the next, the next 50 years having a bash at each other about it. Mm. 
for me it does seem like a waste of time to be to re re relitigating and not moving forward and innovating which is where which is where i think where we want to get to right which is which is about but i think what we're talking about though bro what's happening at the moment as i see anyway is ideological differences you're looking at fundamental ideological differences you've got colonized as colonized as and i think well, well, to to a certain extent, what I think Tamati and Kirsty and the the current, you know, and all of their followers are trying to push for, is a return to nature, is a simpler way, and and I honestly, I do genuinely um, appreciate the sentiment. the The issue is, is when your kids get sick, as in some of our whānau have had kids sick, sick kids recently, they shoot straight over to starship hospital right and so i'm like okay for small communities because anybody right now can go into te uruwera and live like our tūpuna did nobody would stop them no right you can go and have your mana motihake right now yep. and some would survive better than others most people wouldn't make that choice because we are too used and culture you know we're assimilated and we we're, we're used to where we are but tut want to get as as far as i see it um back to a simpler place where we're living more in tune with nature and i think all of us would agree that would be a good thing but that works for a very small group of people Mm. You you could get you could you know the brethrens for example the brethrens right now down <laughs> down south and they've got certain social you know controls within their religion and within their sort of social oh, cultural yeah. things to make it work with you know the the Amish they go and you can go and live your life that doesn't solve the problems for the people living in Fakatani that doesn't solve the problems for all of the Tuhoi who live in South Auckland. Right. And most of us live outside of and tell the truth, if they all came home, it would be chaos. So I go, it's kind of, you know, I get what they're talking about. I don't think it's realistic in, in my humble opinion. Um, and and so when you're talking about mana motuhake, they're talking about independence. They're talking about self-sovereignty. They're talking about isolationism. And when I look at climate change, when I look at technology curve that's happening with AI, when I look at actually, when I look at how people move, people move out of necessity. We acted as hapu because we had to. You couldn't survive. You didn't have roads. You couldn't take off up to Auckland. You couldn't go here or there or anywhere. You, so we behaved in that manner from it's kind of like evolution you know the environmental factors that force you to behave in a certain way build those structures colonization comes along we opened up suddenly we're here talking you're in auckland we're down here we're broadcasting to the world i don't know how you can force people to go back to that hapu structure in that same kind of way i i, I just don't it does I, i've tried to get my head around it in a very reasoned way and i've been pretty much because i talk this way they kind of go oh you're a seller you can't you know you're just not and it drives me a bit crazy i go if you're serious about this if you want this to happen um there will be a cost and that cost for me is you know your kids get sick okay. yeah, yeah anyway yeah. No. No, 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 no. Look, I want to play a game. I want to play a game. I'm looking at the comments right now, and I, and I just, yeah. and I, oh, oh, Dad, I want to, because there's some stuff here that you know, it's interesting how this pops up in, in, in the sort of the views and, and, and sometimes how, maybe some of the things that we're describing are interpreted, and sort of what pops up, right? Yeah. So I'm just gonna go, um, so the, the stuff that's kind of popping in here, and I, I, I just want to do a shout out here to um, Awaroa Rapana um we've got charlena brown um we've had people kind of popping in and out Tera, uh, Kai Fidia was uh was in just uh he he liked um the broadcast so there's people kind of watching i think so um but dad i'm just gonna i'm just gonna drop some some bombs throw some hand grenades and i just want you to go yeah or nah okay yeah um and so uh, what have we got here self-determination is our right Uh, 
Oh, I don't hear you. His voice gone. Oh, oh yeah. You hear me? I, I hear you now. Yeah. Yeah, well... Self-determination I, I is I, I, our I right. Think that, that, is it? I think the first, the first, the first liberation is yourself. You determine you, you know, because at the moment there's so many distractions. It is an ideological one. There's a lot of our people are, are very much, uh, uh, you know, um, they follow the um, national party policies. A lot of our people, people follow that. They white like extremist policies. A lot of our people follow that. But we, I mean. Hey, we've been colonised for the last 200 years. And so that, that's the problem we have there. So we had to navigate. So you, if you come to Ruatoki there, you've got people belong to that movement. So you've got people in here that belong to the Whakaminina, uh, the Confederation. So there's a whole different factions of our, our ideas and ideologies. And, and, and yeah, so, so many of it around. You know, I tried to get myself more around, yeah, yeah, we more me, you know, we right. I think we well, us, we can know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're know saying, that, you know, uh, and, uh, so, uh, hey, sorry. So you're saying that uh, first liberate yourself. Yeah, yeah. Well, you do with the with the hard night, with the with the. You you got a, um, you know, you 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 got you you yeah. You, you gotta make yourself to clear yourself where you where you thinking, where you're standing. Yeah, yes, right. I am being colonized. Yeah, yes. I do have colonial some colonial bad habits, whatever they are, could be food, uh, could be um, you know you know, all of that but I, I Instagram more, 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 more important than that is in you know, believe believe in yourself, believe in your own thinking. You know, and uh, you know, I think that, that, that's a first thing. That, that's a big, that's a big thing for people. So, do you think it's hard to? to it's, it's going to be a hard place to be, self determination, and I guess that's the subjective. You know, uh, self determination is our right, and it's like, well, what does that mean? You know, yeah. like what is real? What is real? And and, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. and uh, being able yeah, to yeah. determine ourselves, I think what what that's that's expressing is determining ourselves as Maori, and we have the right to do that, which is um, and. And you're saying that in order to, in order to be able yeah, to yeah. Um, to do that, we have to be able to deal with, to liberate ourselves inside ourselves before we can before we can truly. Yeah, yeah. Well, if if you're in the Maori in in in, in other aspect in our world, there's a lot of yeah. debate about women's uh, the, the voice of the wahine, mm -hmm. you know, in in the, in their own narrative, in their own stories. There's a, there's a lot of discussion and debate around that. Uh, a lot of the wahine are, are, are challenging us because they seem to be a, well, a very male dominant uh, view, sure. which I agree. You know, and, and so we, um, but that came through from colonization, in my view. And we, we you know, in, um, like we were talking to, the, to all the uh, women artists the other day, and you know, that kind of quarter they were talking about. You know, they would they want to elevate and, 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 and put a, you know, put the, the hākari around to determine that they have a voice. And uh, so even in their own world, little known dealing with the coloniser, but even just dealing with ourselves, uh, we had to deal with that. Yeah, Do the yeah. woman need to have a voice on the marae? Do they need right. to speak on the marae out there? Well, uh, they could, they can, because they do it in Ngāti Pro. You know, the woman have a voice on the marae out there. You know, mm. so all of those, all of those are the, all of those the type of conversations are really important. That we need to talk about it. That each of those whānau hapu need to talk about those issues. Right. Yeah. Cool. There's something okay. like I've, that before gonna, we I'll... start talking about the colonisers. But just sure. talk about ourselves. Can I just say self-determination, when they usually say self-determination is our right, they're yeah. talking about the fact that as Māori, we were self-determining forever until the parker yes. turned up and then suddenly yes. there were all these other walls and so we go hey we've actually got the ability amongst ourselves to yeah. survive in the wild by ourselves we don't need all of your things and da 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. but i i would say what happened is we collided with the world because well, it was already happening in europe and then so as the globalization happened we we are now having to fit into that 
and if we we're by ourselves i think you know i mean you just got to look what happens around the rest of the world would we i i, I nearly go we when the parkia turned up here they were starting to abolish when the english anyway turned up here they were starting to abolish slavery there was the abol evolution of slavery was movement was happening so we yep. got a treaty you know if the spanish had turned up earlier potentially we would have been wiped out well, you know they i'm not saying that we should be thankful for the parkias no. but yes we did so we no. we were self-determining forever by ourselves suddenly we collided with the modern world because yeah. industrialization had already happened over in europe and then suddenly as part of that overall ecosystem are we better by ourselves or are we i mean i, I think it's nearly a moot point it is what it is yeah, you know because yeah. other people have said we are not who we were meant to be well yeah. actually we are who we are so we were meant to be this way and, and i'm like how do we find this way forward and the truth is in this country maori have affected legislation we have shifted legislation we have contributed to this new unique way and i think that's what I, I think that's the way forward i don't think we can throw the baby out with the bath water and start again i mean look at jamaica when they got independence they got smashed like completely yeah, yeah. smashed under independence corruption comes in all of these other human traits that are just human traits so yeah that's what i think self-determination is our right yes yeah, yeah, but uh, <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, okay, but, hey, don't, 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 don't forget, don't forget, don't forget the Maka Waka done a lot of damage, you know, in many other ways. The regional people here, the Maranarana and the Hapu One One, uh, the, uh, they, are, they, are, they are the regional Tanata Whenua. With the, they, they were collaborating with the Maka Waka, with the Pacific people, and they came over here. Yeah. A, lot of those people, a lot of those people came here. When they landed here, there were all the people here. There were all the people here. Uh, they, they are the 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 hapu one one. They are the 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 tana the whenua. And uh, so, I mean, the Mata Waka brought new things, new ideas, new concepts. And uh, they were having difficulties over in the islands, so they had to find another way. But there was all the, those those movements, a movement within the Pacific and the movement over in South America. A lot of those guys they brought in, the Kumara, the Riwai, all of that came through from the Matawaka. They, they, they brought it in there. Actually, the, the Tanata Fenua got dominated by the Waka. Well, as we know, uh, you know, here we are today, we are part of that. So our Whakapapa is from the, from the Waka, but they also uh, the Whakapapa to Tanata Fenua here, at the original people. Mm. Not that Moriori we're talking about. That's another story. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna. So here's, uh, here's another one. Uh, so I'm, this is. Uh... I just gotta go and get water. Oh, okay. carry on. Well, carry wait. on. Yeah, just mute him. <laughs> mute, mute him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You mute. <laughs> yeah, no one wants to hear our father drinking water uh, on the microphone. That's, <laughs> that, that's assuming that's all he's gonna do. Um, might end up in the fatty paku as well. Um, okay. Pakeha governance are arrogant and ignorance. They will retain. Um, they will retain the power. They, they aren't going to give up power. Why would you? And, and I don't know how they would give up power. I mean, you know, this becomes a constitutional conversation. There's people much more brighter than any of us, like Annette Sykes and so forth. Who, um, you know, could there be a separate Maori legislative? Um, it's still, you know, kind of the, the thing is too, and 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 they aren't going to give up power, are they? Well, arrogant they're and ignorant. They're already oh. happening. They're, they're, it's already happening, you know? and, and I think we, that, you know, we, we we need we need to build a, a relationship. And I think we're doing that. Yeah. And I think we're doing that, and, and I think that the whole just having having a. Uh, a place there that we can, so we can have a voice, and, uh, and I think we're doing it. We're working on that. Uh, Isn't that what you were saying before, though? Right? We've been doing it for, you know, well, with the trade union movement, with the with the, with the churches, the right. work council of churches, all the way right across. So you know, we had that um, we had that hui with all of those Australian. Well, they weren't Australian artists. It was the Australian Regional Arts Program. 
but yeah, it yeah. was with people from there was, and there was someone from ah where was it it was up by india um kurdish no not kurdish yeah. uh no it wasn't it was kashmir oh yes it was kashmir and yeah yeah so you know we all know what england did to india how they colonized that they it was a complete rot. they extracted so many resources from india um but india got their independence yeah and they are run by indians now uh the indian people she is talking about the rise of the strong man of authoritarianism oh yeah in india yeah first hand right. she's talking about it about how you have to stand and sing the national anthem now and uh, you know you ask is that still colonialism within their own self-governing systems yeah. and so if you think about if you if you extend that forward and you think oh how would we as a colonized indigenous people then start to self-govern ourselves and if we look at tut as an example and i am very sure that if the current administration was in power and it was a two-hoy state that potentially um, me, all of us would be inside of two-hoy jail for being dissidents right. because we are yeah. dissidents because we currently do not agree with the current administration and those who are in power. Um, I would see that as a very likely outcome of if we were to... We, we assume that as Māori, we would be fantastic self-governors but when you look back at our history, you look at Tuhoi, Tuhoi, Mo Mo Kai, Mo Mo Tanga, Mo Mo Tangata Kitepo. You know, that was about the war that the, that Tuhoi, the Tangata, started back in the day. He killed his brother and he took his mana. You know, as we say that he refused to live under the mana of another. You know, but that another way you could say that was he was covetous of his brother's power and plotted to murder him <laughs> you know depending on which side yeah, you yeah. sat on that argument because a war happened yeah and so i'm going we're very romantic about ourselves that if we had governance that suddenly we would be getting along hey we can see that there are still conflict within us yeah. so just like any other nation yeah. well, and 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 so this idea that we would end up in a utopia if we were self-governing I don't necessarily buy that because if you look over at, at, at India, you look Africa. at you look at China at the moment. Look at China; they govern themselves. It is a Chinese Chinese culture, Chinese I like it. rule. I like it. Well, there's a lot of things going. On. I mean, I don't want to be on. You know, well, it's a billion. It's a billion, and you, you think there's no comparison. You're talking I, about billions of people. It shifted a lot it's recently, Dad, from the seventies. Billions of people in there, living in the country. Yeah. You know, you, know, you had to, you had to have some kind of order. Some part I agree with it. You know, and uh, you can find some stuff. But let's uh, let's look at Africa. Africa being divided into a whole lot of, you know, crazy stuff that been happening to Africa, which is done colonized by the um, Portuguese, by the French, by the English, by everybody. You know, just look at Africa. The Africa was uh, one place. They can take their, their, their kararehe and their tikana, but just, just look at that, what's, what's been happening in Africa alone. You know, and um, yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We, we can't really be making those sort of kind of comparison, what happened in China or what happened, but look at India. You know, India has colonised the you know, Bangladesh, the Naga people. You why why can't we make the comparison to China? Because well, China, China, China has colonised Tibet. You know, if, if, if the two Hoi nation lived on the edge of China and China said, we, you are actually part of us, they would not listen to our cultural differences as we yeah, want to yeah, be. They would be like, no, you are China. Yeah, yeah, but... They've done it to Tibet. Taiwan, Taiwan is China. I, you know? I, I mean, I yeah, tend yeah, to yeah. agree, but... Yeah, 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 no, because I know. I know enough there to know they can debate that. You know, it's, I mean, it's, 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 like turning, it's like turning South Island into another country. It's actually it's all part of their law. Yeah, but sure. Taiwan is China. Okay, well, it's about, I mean, I guess what it is is that, because there's part of me also that I, I get challenged by, particularly when we're talking about China. And, uh, you know, and I know 
you know your history dad and, and your sort of your communist uh mates and and sort of some of that uh that yep. history that you've got you know and and the fact that it was about um you know the the, the part where it is the um the working class and power to the people right and in yeah. those in those elements but i really struggle with you know the reality of of china in those times the the famine and the you know and the stuff that kind of went on for the chinese people and and to, you know we're talking about this idea of romanticizing where we would where we could potentially be as maori if we had uh if we if it was all up to us right and yeah. i i i do i have to say is there is there elements of of some of these um structures that we look back on like china in and, and the, the communism and, and those things where those those ideals are romanticized with it with the, where the well, truth of china too with, with other with other countries right around the world they didn't drop bombs like the americans said so they brought up a friendship with the, in, in africa in the, in the pacific so they they have been working i mean they they, they didn't come here and and confiscate the two way lay i mean the, the chinese went through a real bad uh, period of time for thousands of years. Th there's you know, been a other than you know for a long period of time. Uh, I mean, uh, this uh, is a debatable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not huge. saying that everything is is beautiful. <laughs> hey, it Ooh, is like it is the geopolitical topic of the yeah, moment. Yeah, 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 what's happening in China with the South China Sea? With what the, what's happening in Australia with yeah. with America? I mean, China has changed recently. It has with with um, Xi Jinping. It, it has shifted he he went in and he has changed that like he doesn't have a term anymore he will be there until and he has a mission and um it's they are definitely flexing yep um taiwan is the is is the the tinder for potentially yep. You know that is. I agree. I go. What is America doing there? What is? Yeah. What are they? They've been. They they've been it. doing that the whole time. Why can China not flex itself out? But I mean, it's. Um, they're showing that if you go, if you speak out against China, that they will. Will they can take you out? And they will, and they're yeah. doing it to Australia right now. They will use economics. Yeah, yeah. They will use and and you know it's. It's you. real. It's real. Hey, um, Axiom, yeah, I think you're right. To be honest, late stage capitalism, ideal socialism is, is potentially looking good. And people don't know the difference between socialism and communism. That is, yeah. that is, that is very, very true. Um, you know, late stage Ors. capitalism. Ors. Say hello, oh. Charles. Got on, on my boat. <laughs> We've got all of the Uruweta 4. Oh, we've had, you know, we've had Tarangi Kai video on here, so... Uh... <laughs> no, well, we need to get them on board. They can come in and have a chat. Hey, yeah, we man. can do that. We can we can actually, you know, these are good conversations. I enjoy these conversations. I think they're important conversations. Bring them on board. Yeah, we'll, we'll tee that up for the next one because we're, we're coming up to time pretty soon, so... Oh, okay. Goes quite quick, really, in the end, once you're... Um, I, I actually, you know, I'm really glad, bro, from our conversation last week that you were optimistic around around AI, uh, oh, yeah. and oh, no, and I'm and, like... and I'm like, I'm hopeful. I'm like, man, that would be because I think we have certain problems that we actually don't have the capacity currently to figure out. And yeah. if, if 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 this other thing that we've invented suddenly turns up and is like, oh, actually, da 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 da, and he, I'll do it for you. I'm like, wow. Yep. Yeah, no, I'm uh, telling uh, you, man. We just if we if we have AI, if we can if we can develop an AI that is. Yarns of doom. Um, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, the yarns gonna, of doom. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and bring it out. I'm gonna try and bring it into the light. There. That's probably my influence there. Oh, hey, hey. hey. Oh, it'd be good to bring people like um, like Olsen to talk about the um, anarchism, anarchists. You know, talk about these different ideas and thoughts. Yeah, yeah. Just a card. What you oh no, no, for sure. Well, you know, we could you we know? could get some of your old radical mates on on to to have a talk about you know I, back in the day to. Hey, some of the young radicals, man, they'll probably try and outdo us. Some of them are like some of the the the, the young bloody ones are on. Yeah, yeah. 
like. No, that's true. They'll make us sound stupid. So yeah, let's, let's bring them on. Let's bring them on. Bring them on. <laughs> bring them on. That's a, a point. Yeah, no? Okay, yeah. well, let's do that. What do you, what's your, what's everyone think out there? The, yeah, we can get, get some more people mixed up into this corridor and uh, see what the what the state of the nation is with regards to activism and, uh, and um, you know, movements and stuff like that. We can bring all that together for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's something that people will be interested in checking out. Cool. Let us know. Yes. Why not? And yeah. Then, yes. Totally. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We can bring, yep. We can, we can invite Tamati and Kirsty on. Why not? There you go. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hey, they, they always say, come 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 and have a cup of tea. We'll go, oh, you fellas come and have a cup of tea. Yeah. <laughs> On Facebook Live. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we, we open for that. We, we open for people to totally. have those, uh, those ideas, different opinions. You know, and, um, and I think it's important that uh, people uh, should be able to do that. I think so, and, and I think there's a certain transparency around doing it live. I think there's a certain transparency of having to, you know, test your ideas amongst others who who aren't, you know, that's, I, I like you playing the devil's advocate, my bro, um, and I think you do need to test your ideas and not talk to, a, to an echo chamber or just talk to those who, who agree with you. Yeah. Oh, you know, I guess I guess that's been my role as the oldest... Uh, the eldest son of of a mixed cultural marriage and breeding, you know, and has has been that one breeding is of, of, <laughs> of, of, of having to mediate between those cultures and you know and two people in that relationship. So yeah, so I do like I, there's sometimes Dad, I find there are contradictions in what in 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 the way that you might say stuff and, and yeah. on top of it that is. as well yeah. but on top of that there are contradictions in society and how they and totally. how people view you and yeah, what totally. you're saying and so it, it, what, what always fascinates me and what i'm always kind of interested in is the is the way that people project their own shit or their and that's not shit but their yeah. own um, um um bias card or yeah, yeah. And how they use you as the as the the vessel to embody that, yes. right? And yes. so and so the, for the anti-establishment, for the anti-establishment, it's going to be, oh yeah, you know, you're anti-government and um, um, anti all this, you know, yeah, anti-parkia yep. anti and and um and uh, looking for and this was Napoli. this was something that was um <laughs> that we were constantly going. That's not what he means. That's not what at all what no. he's saying. You no, know, no. and so. Um, no. So there's all this kind of this uh, this contradiction which surrounds you. Sometimes yes. it comes from you. In my, you know, and, and then, but it's good to be able to talk to you about that. So, yes. you know, I think in this platform it is it is. Okay. I think it will help people to understand more the the, the, the truth of the matter. What is aye, real? Aye. <laughs> What's in the annual plan? What's real and what is not real? Yeah. Yeah. Nice one. So, cool. so when are we going to have our mate uh, Lord and Mr. Cora? I am, you know, classic musician, my bro. Uh, he's look, he's a busy guy, and um, okay. it's always hard to kind of nail him down. He's uh, he's he's basically moved house from Tamaki Makoto down to uh, I think the Tamaki Mount. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Do we? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 So he's um, you know, so I think he's getting himself set up. He's working on a project, which is last time I spoke to him was down in Nelson. He was in Nelson at the time, so. Um, yeah, yeah, no, he's, he's going to be around there. Don't worry, we'll get him on. But I think, um, you know, we'll just reach out to our, our peeps and, and see who wants to come on and, and have a discussion about whatever. Could be AI, it could be, you know, it could be art, could be music, could be uh, politics. Uh, good to see you there, Oz, and, um, and Te Rangi Kaifiria. I remember there was a time when Dad wasn't even allowed to uh, associate with you. <laughs> this time, 14, 15 years ago, you've been... You weren't allowed yeah. to um, be in there while you were on parole? Hey, Dad, you had to kind of stay no, away. No, no. Yeah. So, we um, weren't even so allowed you... to be in the same cell together. Hmm. That's right. Yeah. So, um, no, no, choice. All right. Okay. 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 That's us, then. Yep. Yeah, bye bye. Saturday. Choice. Talk. On Saturday, yeah. The Saturday's the next one. Um, we get a hula kuha to you at Waikiri Kiri. Those of you from Ruatoki, uh, or Notu Hoi.
it's a Fano Tepa, my Huda Kohatu for my bro, Gary Tepa, Tu Tepa, Mako, and Rameka, the three brothers. So uh, it's on this Saturday, and I think they get two pato because we're only allowed to have 50 people at a time. So, uh, right. so when, you, when, you, when you turn up at the Ubai and Waikirikiri, just look at the numbers. And, hey, uh, are you getting so, your. Okay, okay. Uh, no, that's cool. And then, um, are you getting your second injection sometime this week? Yeah, yeah. It's a Saturday. Yes. On yeah. Saturday, eh? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, well. I think Saturday, yeah. 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 So, just answering your question there, um, Aroha. Yeah, usually we do. Um, About five. Five. Oh, it is five? We're, putting, we're keeping it at five on Saturday? Yeah. Okay. Or, or oh, is it about so four? Five o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> four or five, come on, you know. Uh, we can't even get the weekly plan sorted. How are we going to do yeah. it anyway? Yeah. Um, uh, okay, look, well, let's, let's, cut, let's split the difference. Four o'clock, yeah? Okay. Oh, wait, oh, well, it depends even... on you. No, okay, fine. Fuck it, fuck it. Well, we'll do five. We'll do five o'clock. We'll yeah, five. Let's do five. Yeah. There you go, Aroha. We got it. We got it. Five o'clock. Five o'clock. Yes, I know. Yeah, yep. <laughs> Here it is. Bye-bye.